Good evening, Elon. Thanks for logging on for this Phoenix 14 News update on Monday, January 25th. Winter term is wrapping up and we know you have finals to study for and fake break plans to make, so this week we're just doing a short update for you. So let's dive right in, and that's what students were doing Wednesday. Ready, set, go! Wednesday afternoon, students took a running start into Lake Mary Nell for the 7th annual Polar Bear Plunge. Those who dared to jump in received a free t-shirt for participation, and some even walked away with gift cards to local stores. Temperatures in the 50s brought out more than 100 students who were brave enough to dare the plunge. The event was sponsored by North Area Council and RSA. West Storm's Ghost Mary was the star of student production screened on Friday. The film recreated the story of Mary, looked into the campus fire that inspired it, and also followed the Winston-Salem Paranormal Society who conducted a search of the all-girls dorm. The group was at the screening to answer questions along with the student producers. Eric Kendall said he was impressed with the outcome of the film. I didn't know they would be that prepared to actually find a ghost, and I guess they did kind of find something. There was a voice that said, help me, or something. I didn't know that, but uh, I didn't know that till today. Campus Rec will be running out bikes again this spring. They're expected to go fast, so be sure to get yours as soon as possible. To sign up, head over to Hardin Clubhouse on February 1st at 1 p.m. Bikes are $25 to rent and can be paid with check, cash, or Phoenix cash. Last year, bikes were gone in less than a day. Continuing coverage now on the disaster in Haiti. The devastation from the Haitian earthquake almost two weeks ago is affecting Elon students, calling them to action. One Elon baseball player is harnessing the competitive spirit of sports to raise money for those in need, one dollar at a time. In baseball, a pinch hitter bats in the place of a teammate. Elon senior baseball player Mike Malolo stepped up to the plate and organized Pinch Hit for Haiti, a fundraiser for the Haitian earthquake victims. Thursday we were watching TV, um, it was in the morning, and I turned the news on and I saw footage of a dead body all on the side of the road, and it kind of stuck with us, um, and I was compelled to try and help. Melillo was happy with the money raised by the Elon baseball program, but he knew he could raise more. Yeah, we, we decided, you know, we know a lot of people across the country from summer ball and kids we played with prior to coming to school. Uh, why don't we reach out to more programs? And what started as a fundraiser for Elon baseball players has spread nationwide. Schools like UNC, Michigan, Boston College, and UCLA have all made donations, and there are only a handful of the schools involved. Into, you know, we compete so hard on the field against each other, and that you, know, you really realize that college baseball players, we're all just one big fraternity. This brotherhood of college baseball players has connected via Facebook to raise more money than anyone could have imagined. At this moment, we're at $9,000. Just right now in the morning, I think that I'm, I'm optimistic by the end of the day and this week will be over 10 grand. Donating to Pinch Hit for Haiti isn't limited to college athletes. Fans, friends, family, anyone can donate. What's important is that people pitch in. We're all just trying to encourage people to help out down there and donate because the situation is horrendous. Laura Levitt, Phoenix 14 News, tonight. The men's golf team is also doing their part to help with the relief efforts in a pledge drive called Eagles for Haiti. The program, spearheaded by MBA student Jason Judy, starts next month and asks sponsors to pledge a donation for every Eagle scored this season by players in the SOCON tournament. SOCON golfers average between 80 and 100 Eagles each year. Donations will go to the Red Cross. For more information on how to get involved and to track progress, log on to their website at eaglesforhaiti.org. And if you still want to help those affected by the Haitian earthquake, Project Pericles will be in Mosley until the end of finals collecting donations. Students can give donations from meal swipes, Phoenix cash, meal dollars, and cash. All funds will go directly to the Red Cross Haitian Earthquake Relief Fund. That's all we have for this Phoenix 14 News update. From all of us here at Phoenix 14, have a happy and safe fake break. For those of you staying on campus during the break, most dining halls will be open, but schedules will vary. Check the Elon Dining Services website for a full list of dining options. We'll see you back in two weeks with the news that matters to you. Thanks for watching.